Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the most beautiful weirdo in this room. I think, unless there's anyone else hiding. No, I'm the most beautiful weirdo in this room. Today, I've got this box, this box, which is from Etsy. The last one I opened with my daughter is from Cures and Curses. If you want to get one yourself, there's only 100 available every month. So they're quite limited, I guess, but... But I got one because I love them. So we're gonna open it right now and see what's inside. Ugh. Last month's box is on my channel as well in the playlist, which was the Lover's Tarot box. This box is the Ostara box for March. So let's see what we got. First of all, there's something in a white box here. I don't know what it is. It feels like a plate. Maybe it's a plate. Who knows? Let's open it and find out what it is. Ah! Well, I mean, if I could get the set of tape. I did it. Let's get it out. Oh, wow. I think it's a wall decoration. It's got pentagrams on it. Or as Flops called a popsicle would say, pentagram. Pentagrams. And some half moons, I love it. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall and it's gonna look beautiful. So that's one, that's the first thing. We have this, spell for Ostara. You will need a candle, Ostara herbs, anointing oil and a sharp object. Carve your intention into the candle for anything you were looking for, the spring to bring you. For new beginnings, prosperity, abundance, drip a little anointing oil onto the candle and sprinkle with spring herbs and flowers. Light the candle and chant. As we turn the wheel towards spring, great spirit and wise goddess, bless my growth, inspire and encourage me to bring color, passion and energy to myself and others. So what's in here? I guess the stuff that you need to do the spell. Here is a little vial or jar of herbs and a ball, a crystal egg and a star anointing oil. Let's smell it. Okay, so my camera decided to run out of battery for some reason, even though I charged the batteries. But anyway, where was we? Herbs. We got some herbs, some Ostara herbs. We got a crystal egg, a crystal egg laid by a crystal chicken. And we got Ostara anointing oil, which has cedarwood, grapefruit, orange, chamomile, and ylang ylang. I like ylang ylang. It smells pretty cool, I like it. So this, is a spell. So for now, I'm gonna put the stuff into the into the box. Actually, I want to smell the herbs. We need to smell the herbs. I stopped smoking herbs recently, so so I haven't had any herbs in me house. I'm sure you're not meant to smoke these herbs. Wow, it smells like minty. Minty. But I can't actually see mint, so there must be mint leaves hiding in there somewhere. But there's a lot of colours in here, like purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. There we go, a spell. And then I have the bag, which has probably got the rest of the stuff in it. Sandalwood incense. Can never get enough incense or wax melts. Oh, here we go. This is the thing that tells you what everything is. What else have we got? This, which might be lemongrass spring wax melts. I have nearly run out of last month's wax melts, which I'm actually burning one right now. And it smells beautiful. And this is a lemongrass one. So they smell it. It's gonna smell like lemongrass, I know. It does smell like lemongrass. It's in the shape of leaves. It's in the shape of leaves. Look. Come on, Mr. Camera. 
the shape of a leaf. Lemongrass leaves. I'm gonna burn them and make me house smell nice and beautiful. Okay, the next one. Candles, can never get enough candles. What candle is it? A tapered spell candle. Yes, that's what I'm gonna use to spell. We're gonna do the spell. It doesn't fit in my Baphomet candle holder, unfortunately. It doesn't fit. I could probably like twist it in there, but I, I don't want to. So, I have another candle holder for this. What's this? Marigold and aloe handmade soap. The last handmade soap from last month's box was Oud. And I love it. And it's nearly gone because I use it all the time. Every time I wash my hands, every time I go in the bath. This is a big whoa. Smells... Smells fresh. It smells a lot fresher. The oud one smells like oud wood, right? It's hard to explain the smell if you don't know what the smell is. But this smells a lot, a lot fresher. And it looks like it's got stuff in it. Look. Look. It looks beautiful. We love it. We being me and all the voices in my head. But that is soap. What else we got in here? Oh wait, this might be the... Oh! The Moon Gazing Hair Ceramic Mug. Let me open it. Oh, oh. It's green, it matches the walls. It's got a hair on it. Or a rabbit, whatever. I don't know why I'm smelling a ceramic mug. But it's a ceramic mug. And I love it. And there's one more thing in here. In this tiny little bag. This might be the charm, actually. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. But that's a rabbit. This is a mug. So... Let's go through the list. Okay, so the egg laid by the crystal chicken is a selenite egg. This egg symbolizes the rebirth of nature, the facility of the earth, the facility, the fertility of the earth and all creation. Carved from selenite, this is the perfect item to add to your spring altar table. And I have an altar table right here. So I'm gonna stick it on the Baphomet candle holder. It's going to sit there, look, right there, right there. Moon gazing hair glass charm in a bag. May this lucky hair bring growth, abundance, new beginnings and fortunes. So the hair can go next to the egg, next to the baphomet, on the altar table, looking all cute and beautiful. Triple moon plaque. This intricate circular terracotta plaque has a copper effect finish and comes with a twine loop ready for hanging. The plaque depicts a triple moon design, also referred to as the triple goddess. The symbol represents the maiden, the mother and crone as the waxing full and waning moon and is often related to feminine energy and psychic abilities. And we all can tell that my feminine energies are through the roof. But yeah, that's that. The moon gazing hair mug. This green bone china mug features a moon gazing hair surrounded by stars representing growth and good fortune. Incense. Satya incense is made using the highest quality ingredients. Yes, we all know what incense is. It smells like sandalwood. It smells pretty cool. So I'm gonna put it over there. Tapered spell candle for use with the spell and the herbs. A star of spell herb jar filled with marigold, lavender, hibiscus, mint, and chamomile with accompanying a star of spell. Yes, this, which we're gonna do. We're gonna do the spell. Handmade Ostara anointing oil, which, which definitely is somewhere here. Contains cedar wood, grapefruit, orange, chamomile, and ylang ylang essential oils. Perfect for use with any Ostara spells or incantations for the spring equinox handmade wax melt leaves which was over here scented with lemongrass to add a zing to your day 
handmade soap, vegan SLS and SLES free soap with marigold, juniper berry and aloe fragrances, finished with dried marigold petals for a refreshing spring, spring scent and it is pretty cute. Drawstring bag, we're keeping natural this month. Yeah, digital print. This month's theme, our in-house artist has created a triple goddess symbol with the triple moon and lunar phases, which is here. And it's pretty cool. I like it. I like their prints. The last print was nice as well. The one from last month, which is like the lover's tarot, which had two skeletons holding hands, which was pretty cute. So yeah, that was the box. Wait, wait, the spell. Why don't we just do the spell? Carve your intention into the candle for anything you are looking for. I want people to listen to my music. How about that? How about that? I want to get my new, I want to get my new, my new EP finished and I want people to, to listen to it. So I, I don't know if I can fit all that on the candle. What, what, we need to condense all that down to exposure. Exposure. I hope the goddess is listening and doesn't just mean exposure as in my trousers fall out, fall out. My trousers fall down when I'm in Sainsbury's because that's not the kind of exposure I want. So we're going to carve it into the candle. E. You're not going to be able to see it because it's in a white candle. So there's no way you're going to be able to see it. But it says exposure. I need a candle holder which will fit this candle. Let's go. Candle. Carve your intention into the candle for anything you were looking for to spring to bring you. Drip a little anointing oil on the candle and sprinkle with herbs and flowers. Pull this off. We want to put a little bit of anointing oil onto the candle. Like that. I'm going to rub it into the candle. I know it doesn't, it looks pretty rude, but it's not meant to be rude. That's you, not me, thinking rude things. And then we're going to, now that's nice and, I don't want to say the word because it's going to make it sound even ruder. Now we're going to get some herbs. And we're going to put the herbs on the candle. It's going to be a herby candle. Herby candles. Give me that exposure. Make people listen to my music, goddess. Give me the strength and motivation to fight this depression. And get my EP finished. Which is actually a, um, just a collection of a lot of songs that are half finished that mean quite a lot to me from a few years ago and I never actually released them. So I'm trying to get them ready so I can release them. There we have an Obi candle. And now my hands have got oils on them. I have clean hands now. So we're gonna put the herbs that I didn't use back in the herb jar. Gonna put that back on here. Light the candle. I have a lighter here. The candle is lit and chant. As we turn the wheel towards spring, great spirit and wise goddess bless my growth, inspire and encourage me to bring color, passion and energy to myself and others. As we turn the wheel towards spring, great spirit and wise goddess bless my growth, inspire and encourage me to bring color, passion and energy to myself and others. As we go through this time, this, this bullshit time of coronavirus and lockdowns, just remember to keep the people close to you close. Remember to appreciate the people that appreciate you. And remember to bring passion and energy to everything that you do. And if there's anything that you're looking to do this spring, then I hope that you can achieve it. I hope that you can motivate yourself to keep pushing, no matter what it is that you wanna do. I hope that your intentions are good. I hope that you're not trying to <laughs> do spells to, to harm anybody else because that's not very beautiful and that's not going to give you positive energy it's all about positive energy we don't need negative energy negative energy will only bring us down sometimes it's hard to stay positive 
throughout all the hardships of life, throughout this trauma, the trauma that is life. But keep pushing, keep your chin up. Hopefully this will all be over soon and we can go back to normal. You can see your family again, you can see your friends again, you can do all the things that you've been wanting to do for the past year now. But yeah, that has been this month's Etsy box from Cures and Curses. I'll put their link in the description. As I said, there's only 100 boxes available every month. So if you do want one, you're just going to have to go and buy it. Because, yeah, there's only 100. Mine got delivered today. They will usually come about this time, no matter when you order it. It will usually be about the 15th of the month. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you're having a beautiful evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. I've been creepy. 